Hello again, Spuds. I missed you. Hi, everybody. Megan here with another episode of Recovery Crafting. Uh, I just wanted to say I am ha I'm having a lot of caffeine today, and I have decided to take a week off of work to mentally recuperate. Uh, luckily, like I said, I am afforded the opportunity to do such a thing, and um, which is beautiful, and I love my company for that reason. And uh, I hope everybody's hanging in there and staying safe so far. Um, things have been hitting a whole lot closer to home lately. Um, I have a lot of friends uh, who have or friends and co-workers who have um, had somebody affected by this, lost somebody affected by this, and uh, yeah, just trying to stay, trying to stay safe up here. So today I am going to craft. We are going to get back to it. Um, we are going to do a post Easter egg hunt type can't wait to get out of quarantine, but let's do something nice for other people kind of craft today. So stick right there. Keep your butts watching and I'll be right back. Again, here we are from the confines, the comfy confines of my living room floor. And today, <clears throat> get out! We're gonna paint some rocks, guys. We're gonna paint some rocks with pretty designs and inspirational messages that we can then take on a nice walk with us. Just fill up your pockets, go on a walk and hide them someplace. Just work, don't, don't even necessarily hide them hard. Leave them in different places for people to find when they go for their walks or when they come out of quarantine so that they can have something nice to look forward to. So I'm just picking out some of the bigger rocks right now. So all I have for this is a container of, or it was just a bag of Black River rocks that I got yet again from the dollar store. I have a paper plate to put my paints on and my rocks. I have a cup of water with a couple of paint brushes in it. And I have some paper towels to help me clean off my brushes. And I have this whole kit of um, acrylic paints that I actually got from Home Depot. So like I said, your local big box hardware store can carry craft supplies too. Okay. So, <clears throat> this was an idea. I don't know if any of you guys have um, seen this around or know anybody who does this, but it is actually quite a common thing to see um, if you're walking around. I've seen them in Providence. I've seen them in Boston. Obviously, I live in that general vicinity, somewhere in between those two main cities. Um, so, if I have seen these before, just happen, just wandering around, and somebody will have pr painted these pretty designs on rocks, and then they just leave them around for other people to find. And, uh, you know, it's either they could have sayings on them, they can just have designs. Um, so I decided that it would be kind of a, a really cool idea to paint up some rocks and go around my neighborhood and leave some rocks around so that when people do finally get the chance to come out of quarantine or when people, um, when the weather is nice, because it's been really flip-flopping here, I'll tell you that. We had snow yesterday, today it's 60. So that's what happens. So... Um, I thought it would be really nice to have these kind of like I said post Easter Easter egg hunt kind of thing Everybody's Easter uh, Passover season was really kind of messy this year So I figured this would be something kind of neat for the unsuspecting uh, the unsuspecting traveler so I Mean I literally have no rhyme or reason for this. I am just going to oh no These paints have plastic on them Okay, hold tight. I'm going to unwrap all of my all of my uh, paints. Okay, back to it. So I've given everything a good shake. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we make. Oh, 
I haven't prepped these rocks in any way. I haven't even washed them. It's probably a better idea to wash them. You can do that if you want. You might have to do a few layers, or if you want to, you can also go through with a base layer of um, white paint. And uh, Or it depends on the rocks that you get. If you just decide that you're going to go around the neighborhood and pick up rocks, which you can do instead of buying them, obviously. If you just want to go around and pick up your own rocks from your neighborhood and decorate them, then they'll probably have different colors on them, So, or they won't be all black like these river rocks, so you won't have to worry about putting a base coat on them. But again, this is just the fun of it. It's just experiment with experiment with whatever you want to do. Now I want some good yellow up there. Clean off the brush. So basically what I've decided that I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and I'm going to take a bunch of rocks and I'm going to put, um, put some like base backgrounds on them, maybe some mandala type designs, which you can do, I'll show you. I'm going to do with the back of my paintbrush. So I'll just get these kind of base designs on here. You can go through with different layers. And then I'll be able to go back to them afterwards and I'll be able to put words on them using white paint. If you have um, like maybe a white out pen or if you have a paint marker even um, or if you're Let's see, if your rocks are lighter colored, um, you can go in maybe with some Sharpies if you don't have acrylic paints around and do some designs with Sharpies. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's do a little kind of mandala thing here. I've got some dark teal. Pulling up my inner Bob Ross today, guys. I haven't done anything with acrylic paints in a while and it felt like it was time. So I'm just taking the back of my paintbrush, the round end of my paintbrush, if you can see what I'm doing here, just dipping it in the paint. And then I'm going to use that course this is going to be really hard for you guys to see because I'm doing dark blue on a black rock. Way to go Megan! I'm just going to wipe it off. Go in with another color and you want to change the size of the dots the intensity of the dots. You can use different size paintbrushes. You can go through with anything. You can come in here with um, oh, toothpicks or anything like that. So while I'm doing this one, I'm going to tell you guys the, um, I heard a really interesting story sitting outside it was actually on Easter and that's kind of what made me think about this like how everybody's had a really rough time of this especially the kids and um, you know not having the chance to do Easter egg hunts and things like that or you know if they do then they're not doing it with their friends they have to do it by themselves and so on Easter I was sitting out back at the picnic table and there is an apartment building behind me and the kids in the apartment building, there were a couple of them that live on the first floor. And then there was this one girl who was stuck up on her balcony on the third floor. And she was calling down to the kids and they were having conversation. Come to find out the kid is asthmatic, or the girl that was up on the third floor balcony is asthmatic. So she is unable to come down and hang out with the rest of the neighborhood kids, obviously, which I guess the kids that were on the bottom floor all live together. Um... So it was okay that they were in group and mass. Um, so anyway, so the kids that were downstairs, it sounded like they were doing an Easter egg hunt. And then the girl up on the third floor yells down and she goes, guys, guys, what, what is your greatest fear? And I was like, oh, this should be an interesting conversation. 
So as I am just sitting back there listening in, and uh, the one girl that was downstairs on the on the bottom um, out in the yard playing, she thinks about it for a second and she starts, you know, she starts calling out a couple of things and then she goes, oh, we tigers. I'm really scared of tigers. And I thought, well, that's a very healthy fear to have. I'm really glad that you're scared of tigers. Of course, didn't say anything. And then she goes, oh, spiders. I am also afraid of spiders. And I was like, yet again, a very healthy fear to have tigers and spiders. I, I completely agree with those. So then the girl on the third floor says, well, I have a fear too but you guys probably wouldn't understand it. You won't know what it is. And so they asked her anyway, and she said, and it was some sea creature. I couldn't hear the name of what she said, but it was a sea creature who lives deep in the ocean, who one squirt of venom is able to kill 200 people. 200 full-size adults can be killed using one squirt of this creature's venom. And I thought, well, that's a really good fear. Uh, that is a very, oh, that is also a very healthy fear. And then before I could even think further, she goes, she yells, and mastodons. I know that they're not, I know that they don't exist, but still, I'm pretty scared of them. The other girl's like, I'm scared of those too. And I just sat back on the back porch laughing so hard because yeah, I, I absolutely, again, very healthy fear of being, being scared of mastodons. I completely agree with being scared of mastodons. I'm glad that we don't live in a time when mastodons are alive. But then, of course, the girl from the third floor decides to say that um, she's not... They started talking about her father, and her father says he can't get sick. He never gets sick. He's immune to anything, so he won't be getting this this virus. And uh, But the girl, the little girl who was out there says, but I can't go anywhere because I have asthma. And she's like, so if I get it, I'm going to die instantly. And I just had this this overwhelming, I went from like completely joyous about a conversation about a girl being a, a scared of, ma a scared, a scared of mastodons, which again, completely healthy fear to bringing it back to what we are dealing with at this time. And that this poor girl, um, that she at such a young age has to face that kind of fear, uh, the very general, the very genuine and real fear of what this virus could do to her being that she is asthmatic. And that is such a hard thing. Um, I, I just, I can't fathom what it would be like. I am not a parent. I, I am a step parent. I am, um, my fiance has two daughters who I love just like they were my own, but I have never given birth to a child. And I know that people say that that's a different thing. And that's why I try not to that's the only reason why I consider myself myself a step parent. I've had people before be like, oh, well, why do you just say step parent? Why aren't you just a parent? Because I'm trying to let mothers know, women who have given birth, that I am not in the same boat as them and that I would never pretend to be in the same boat as them. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I feel because I've had other mothers get really mad. Oh, you're a mother, too. Yeah, but I, not out of my own womb. So. I can't imagine what it's got to be like for a parent right now having to try to explain to a child the reasons why they have to stay home or why they can't go out and play with their friends um, and how you hit that, like, oh, oh just what it's got to do to the kids. Um, I mean, I know when I was a kid, I would have loved the concept of having all this time off of school, but at the cost of saving my own life, it's really kind of a, God, that is just an earth shattering thing for kids to have to deal with. I mean, I guess it's just like, you know, when any other time that it's, you know, in World War II, because I have compared this to wartime, um, during wars or famines or, you know, it is the same thing, but I guess just because it's my generation and I haven't been through something like this before, it's not something that I've ever had to think about, about how do you explain something like this to to those who are, who can't understand it as an adult can. Um, sorry, caffeine break. So again, that just made me think, and another reason why I wanted to do something like this was to bring out that inner child in me again and, um, you know, find a way to alleviate some of that, some of that fear 
I know I'm just rambling now. I'm doing that because I'm painting, so I just wanted to talk with y'all. I hope that's okay. It's just, it was one of those very eye-opening situations for me where I got to see kids being amazingly kids and then having to deal with such grown-up problems all at once. And I wasn't prepared for it, and it made me super emotional. Super emotional for not only the kids, but for the parents that have to deal with that. And how do you explain to your child? I will leave that alone now because it's a very morbid thought. So yeah, this was where I was going. Ooh, no, not in the paint. So I've got this cool mandala looking thing going on. I'm going to let that dry. I've now done two coats on this, which... which I will then write a word across, probably in white. <clears throat> and now I'm just having some fun. Like I said, you can do any kind of designs on these you want. And this is cool because you can take your time with it. You can, um, you can do this while you're binge watching whatever show it is that you might be binge watching on any of those popular streaming channels at the time. Or while you're watching this video, ha <laughs> ha or any of my other videos, which I highly recommend and suggest and would love it if you went back and watched all of my videos. Shameless plug. And I'm just trimming off a, a rogue bristle. So yeah, if you guys have any interesting stories that you want to share, um, please do so in the comments. Leave me, leave me some love. Tell me how everybody's handling this. What are you guys doing? What other crafts are you guys doing to, uh, to keep yourselves motivated and inspired during this? Um, and please go to the, find my Facebook page. It's, um, it's the, it's a, recovery crafting group that I have started to go in tandem with this channel so that people can uh, share pictures of their crafts and um, if you guys try out any of the projects on this video please go and try those uh, if you bleh, 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 first day new tongue um, if you try out any of the crafts from the other videos that I have done please go on to the Facebook group and share the photos of your crafts um, I know sometimes I do things that I think are easy and they're not, and there are other things that I think are hard and some people find an easier way to do them. So let's all share our inspiration for our crafting so that we can, um, we can get through this time in a very creative and adventurous way. So, I mean, this is as simple as this is. I don't, I don't want to go on too long, uh, letting, or having you guys sit here and just watch me paint away at rocks, but... I just did a really pretty flower on that one. And again, these don't have to you guys don't have to be Monet in order to get the in order to get the point across. Really what I want to do is just make something pretty so that when people are walking they just happen to discover something and it might put a smile on somebody's face after all of this negativity and sadness that has been going around. Um, if you can share smiles and spread some love and spread some joy during a day, I think that um that that's a successful day. I think being able to just make somebody smile, even if it's one person, and even if it's just one smile, you have made an impact on somebody's day. You have changed the way that their day may be going. Um, and that that's sometimes the best love that we can share is just, just a simple smile. Um, you know, we don't have to, you don't have to have a lot in order to give a little. And sometimes a little is just what pe is just enough for what people need, especially during trying times like this. Um, so this is how I'm going to spend a majority of my day is just painting, um, painting rocks and I will be setting them out. Um, I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So my goal is to get a bunch of these done so that when I go grocery shopping, I can, um, I can take a bunch of them with me in a bag and leave them out for people to find. Um, there's a, 
community college campus up the street from me and uh, I pass a lot of other public areas on the way to the grocery store so this is this is my way of spreading just a little bit of joy when I don't have a whole lot to give right now so hang in there and I'll come back with the outro all right so I want to I hope that you guys enjoyed today um, I know I, I really apologize if that story got a little morbid. I had forgotten actually, to be honest, about the second part of that um, second part of that story until I was just letting my mind wander while I was painting and it came out. Um, and I don't want to edit that kind of thing out because, uh, again, I use this as a kind of a vlog for me as well. Um, and it was something that happened and it was a, a very eye-opening experience that I had and I'm able to that's part of what I love about YouTube is that I'm able to um, kind of commemorate or put down in video those things that happen um, those things that I can look back on this years from now and remember um, so I'm not going to edit that out I really hope that I didn't offend anybody with it it was just it was a true to life story it was something that happened in a very hard time and uh, it was it, it affected me. It affected my soul. Um, I am going to continue to be makeupless throughout this week. I will probably be filming a bunch of videos during this week so that I don't have this week that I have off so that I can get ahead on my filming. So you might see a whole lot of makeupless Megan. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys go out there and gather some rocks and paint some rocks and share some love. And uh, like I said, it's something small that we can do to um, spread just a little bit of happiness and a little bit of joy for when we are finally able to be released. I know that the government is starting to do that um, in certain places or they are planning it. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <sighs> anyway. Um, this is certainly not a political channel. <laughs> um, anyway, so I love you all and I hope that you guys have some fun with this craft and that you were able to spread a little bit of joy and that it gives you a smile too. And I would love again for you to please go to the Facebook page and share pictures of the rocks um, that you paint and I would love for you to share photos of them in their natural environment when you go and set them out, um, when you actually leave them outside. And I will try to do the same thing when I, uh, when I leave them, I'll take some pictures and post them on the Facebook page, the Facebook group. So please come and see me at Recovery Crafting on Facebook. Join that group as well. Um, just a quick reminder that I am currently at 29 subscribers and I am trying to get to 50. Once I get to 50, I will be um, doing a uh, surprise giveaway. Not really a surprise because I'm telling you, but it's a giveaway um, for a bunch of dollar store crafting supplies, some of which uh, are things that you can use to make the crafts on this video or on these channel that I've done so far. Um, some of them are things that you can just to have and do whatever you want to with. I have been amassing some stuff to send out in that um, in that really cool giveaway. So please like, share, subscribe, press all the buttons, do all the things. I love you so much. Stay safe in this crazy time. Come and join me again next week. I love you so much. And that's it. <laughs> Bye.